Hey gang, old Big Collector here. I uh, thought I'd show you another project that we're working on that is uh, for mode 2, that's the retro text mode. Um, and this will probably carry into our other modes eventually as well, but this is kind of where we're starting, and that is to bring in the SIDCOG uh, a capability and tie it into BASIC. Uh, if you played with the SID player program and the DMP files, you've discovered that the uh, SID COG software is very, very capable and a lot of fun to listen to. Um, but we want to kind of bring that to you so that you have access to it. And so up in the development fo folders right now is an experimental mode 2 MDE that is... Um, that is under development right now. In other words, I've kind of invited you into my development folder. Um, it's not perfect and we're still working on it, but uh, already I'm seeing some really great results and you're welcome to get a copy of it. Um, you don't even have to label it as mode 2 MDE. You could label it as mode 5 or 6 and use it that way without disrupting your current mode 2. Um, be sure to change your basic uh, mode switch line accordingly if you do it that way. So this is kind of where we started with it. I'll run the little music demo here. This is three voice demo. So this is actually reading data statements out of MM Basic and feeding them into SIDCOG. So I've got a little work to do. You can hear that the, uh, the, the speed of the music is changing just a little bit uh, as it moves to the third voice. But already uh, you've got access uh, using this method to feed SIDCOG information from your Mode 2 program. So this is where we started. And uh, this week I thought I'd work on a little more of a demo program that you could play with a little bit. Uh, to use the mode 2 SIDCOG software. So let me stop this. I'll jump back to edit to shut off SIDCOG there, and there it is in the middle of the data statement. So I'm going to escape out of that and load a demo called Piano. And run it. Again, switching to mode 2. And so what you've got here is, uh, if you remember, uh, years ago they made this little plastic piano keyboard that was uh, that would fit over a Commodore 64 keyboard, and it would give you keys and you could play SID. Well, I kind of took that idea uh, and brought it over to Mode 2, and so uh, the letters Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P, and so on are notes on the keyboard, and then of course the, the sharps are 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0, S, D, F as they're labeled. So if you push one of those keys, you should get a satisfactory tone. And then because it's difficult to um, to hear or to, to, to imagine what your attack and decay and sustain and release would be when you're testing it in basic, um, you can adjust those here. So we'll just tap the key here and we'll increase or I should say decrease the decay. So you can already hear the difference. Let's move it back up a little bit. And then same thing, I can go in and kind of play with the release. And so these are controls that you would have in a normal SID chip uh, to program what the sound of your, uh, in this case, square wave would be. And of course, then the SID chip supported uh, four different types of waveforms, and you can access those here. So I'm going to switch from square to sawtooth. And uh, triangle. And of course, if you uh, had drums uh, in uh, on the Commodore 64, the drum sounds were uh, kind of horribly using the, the noise. 
function of the SID chip, which is duplicated here. So uh, again, this mode two SID cog is all a work in progress. It's in the development section uh, of the software library for the Micromite Companion, but uh, want to invite you uh, to go up there and play with this. I will be continuing to work on this and this will become the uh, standard uh, sound driver that will be available through the propeller. Um, of course, um, this is only in mode two right now. Eventually, we would hope to get this also accessible in mode four if we can squeeze a cog out of there somewhere. Um, for now, uh, you could also use the uh, PWM function. There's four different PWM channels on the Micromite to also generate sounds. So, um, you know, theoretically, I guess you could have uh, three voices SIDCOG running from your program along with the noise generator, and then on top of that, add four more PWM voices uh, all at the same time. Could create a very interesting programmer demo. So um, anyway, check it out. It's up on the forums and let me know what you think.